Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss why there is a bias in REEE 7.5.4 single precision standard. So this standard actually specifies instructions to convert a decimal number into binary. So I have already discussed REEE 7.5.4 standard, and in this standard, in single precision, particularly, we are having 32 bits, and these 32 bits. Uh, can be specified like the first leftmost bit is actually used for sign okay. and then next 8 bits are for exponent so this exponent uh, when we uh, are converting a real number into binary format so there are some instructions and when we got a exponent so in order to store that exponent in these 8 bits that exponent actually added with a bias 127 so here I'm going to discuss why there is a bias so for exponent we are having 8 bits okay so we are having space for 8 bits in memory okay so in these 8 bits what are the total number of values which can be stored? So the total number of values can be stored is 256. So if we want to store unsigned numbers, so the range will be quite like this. Now a exponent can be negative and it can be positive. So let's say uh, in this 8 bits we are allowing signed ring it means we are allowing a negative number to be stored in two's complement so in that case what will be the range the range will be minus 127 0 sorry 126 minus 125 and so on so let's say we are having somewhere here 127 so here we will get 0 then 1 then 2 and 127. So the thing is that here, uh, what we will get in this situation, we will be having two notation for zero. One will be negative, one will be positive. Okay, and this is the problem. For one zero, we are having two notations. So the 128 numbers are used as negative, and these 128 are used for positive so in order to solve this problem that instead of storing zero in two representation we are going to take only one single representation so if we map every element from here to here so for one min minus 127 we will get zero two so this one we will get and so on so it's been suggested that instead of using a signed representation we can use this unsigned and how we are going to use we can take 0 to 127 in one part and 128 to 255 in another part okay so let me write this one here So this is 127 this is 255 so this 127 is actually used to represent 0 that's it so there is only single representation for 0 no need to go for positive and negative 0 so here what we are having in this side we are having 0 then 1 then 2 and and in this side we are having 128 till 250 so we actually mapped this one into this one and we eliminated this positive zero or you can say negative which one you want to prefer so for zero there is only a single representation so if a number the exponent is stored in these eight bits is somewhere here so that number is considered negative and if that number is here 
that number will be considered positive okay so in this side how many numbers we are having so from 0 to 127 we are having total 128 so before 127 so these number of elements are 127 and this side they are 128 okay so the range we can consider like in this unsigned we can represent from 127 to 128 now the thing is that the minimum exponent which is here in which every bit will be zero that is actually reserved and similarly this case where every bit is one this case is also reserved so the actual exponent range is 126 to 127 this is the range but this range is actually stored in this format so minus 126 is stored as 1 okay and uh, 0 is stored as 127 so if we are having an exponent of 0 so how that number will be stored as 127 so we need a process to change this number according to this mapping so that's why there is a mapping there is a bias of 127 so if if uh, someone is having this exponent minus 126 so how this is going to store this is going to store as this one one so if we add some number in this one and we want one so if we add 127 what we will get we will get one so this is according to this mapping so the core region to avoid this confusion like uh, GIF. For single zero, there are two representations, so that's why there is a unique representation for every number. Thank you very much for watching.